Mosaic Mirror Surrounds are a terrific project for any level of experience. There was a time when we could just buy really nice surrounds that we could then mosaic, but I went looking recently and really couldn't find anything that I found satisfactory. So I got to thinking and came up with an idea to make my own mirror surround that's really very, very nice. So let's take a look at how I did this. These wood frames are really very nice and they address a challenge that we have right up front, what to do with the edges. By building your mirror mosaic inside this frame, you've dealt with the edges already. It's a really nice finish to any project. We will attach a mirror in the center of this frame and then build our mosaic around it. And here's a smaller version, just as nice. Before attaching the mirror, I urge you to figure out what you want to do about the frame edge. Do you want to paint it or stain it? This one happens to be stained. Let me show you how I do that really quickly. I always wear a glove. It's recently stirred. I want to get this inner area. And so see, getting in there is why I want to do this before I build my mosaic, otherwise I'm getting stain or paint all over my mosaic. I like these beveled mirrors. It's just kind of a nice finish, a little classier look. I bought these at a local craft store. There's lots of options online. I give you a number of links in the description. You can also cut your own mirror to whatever size you want. You won't have a bevel, but it'll be perfectly adequate. Mirror is silver applied to the back of clear glass. Avoid damaging the silver. Handle the mirror with care. I recommend you use this adhesive, Mirror Mastic. It is manufactured specifically for mirror. I purchased this one online but it's available for places that sell mirror and some home stores. I've read that you can also use silicone-based adhesives as well. I prefer mirror mastic. I'm putting this larger frame together for a mirror surround using broken dishes, and I want the mirror to be raised about an eighth of an inch. Here's a trick for that. I'm going to glue a shim under the mirror to raise it up. So I have the mirror mastic in this caulk gun I'm going to squirt a generous amount down because the mastic will not harm the mirror in any way. And if you notice, I've laid the mirror on a towel because again, we want to treat it gently. I'm going to take my shim and just kind of glue it on here. And now I'm going to let that rest for a while. I'm going to do the same thing with my little mirror for my little frame. I made this shim out of cutting a paint stir, basically. It was thick enough. I carefully measure to find the exact middle so that I can have the mirror in the middle. So I'm using this blue tape so I can put hash marks on the actual mirror before I glue it into the frame so that it lines up perfectly and is centered. And now with my shim attached, and all of my markings, I can line this up. So by having these hash marks, I can really line up my mirror and make sure it's in the center. So now I'm going to gently, gently treating my mirror and with just a wood glue, because the shim is wood, I'm gonna put a generous amount of wood glue on the back of my shim. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to line up my hash marks. Double check. And just going to let that be. I 
also have my smaller version. So, same drill. You could also use epoxy, other kinds of glue that's, that's going to really adhere the wood to the wood, but I have wood glue, so why not use the right adhesive for the job? And there we go. So now we have a really nice frame ready as soon as this dries up to start mosaicing. Oh, look to the left. This did float, so I want to come back and double check. Smear that glue under it by seating it, just like we would a tile. People often ask, where do I find shims? I just got that one at a craft store. The other, I cut a paint stir stick. And voila, a very nice solution to a supply chain challenge. Hi, here we are one month later. I like this project so much that I went ahead and made myself a little mirror in ceramic. Notice I covered the mirror with tape and little newspapers under here because I want to protect the mirror from the grout. And I'm also putting tape around the actual frame so that I don't get grout all over the wood just for a nice clean finish. I've mixed up some brown grout for this piece. There's lots of videos on the channel about mixing grout. So I'm just going to let you look those over. I didn't want to spend our time here doing this. And I'm just going to go ahead now and start grouting. So when I grout, you know, I like these plastic kind of potter's tools. Sometimes I just use a kitchen sponge to get it spread out. The idea is if you use a bit of a swirly motion, like with one of these sponges, is you're really getting it into the spaces. By taking off the excess, it helps it cure out faster. And now we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes until this grout really starts to cure out. And then I'll show you some fast tricks for wiping something like this off that are really quick and easy. What I'm looking for right always when I'm grouting is this, for the, the grout to kind of go back to powder. So I'm just gonna try taking the majority of this off with dry, lint-free paper towels. Now the biggest mistake people make when grouting is that they take the grout off too soon. So I wanna be careful that I'm not pulling the grout out of the spaces. Now we're gonna wait another little while. Start to get a sense of what this is gonna look like. I'm in pretty good shape. I tested my grout. It's not really making a divot with my fingernail. So I think I can be a little more aggressive in cleaning. And I'm really anxious to pull off my uh, tape. Now this is where I might have to de-glove. I'm gonna pull off my frame tape. Pretty good, right? Just one little spooge of an area here. Just gonna gently wipe that off. Really work it, getting that stain off. Have a little water here. I'm gonna put a little water on this paper towel. And... Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Now to get all this tape off, and I really covered the mirror up because I didn't want the mirror to get damaged in any way or get grout on it. Gently pull this off. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Nice tidy edge because of the pre-built frame. So remember, you too can make this mirror surround and make your own design in the center. And remember, life's a mosaic. You pick the pieces. <laughs>